Hi, Assalamu alaikum. It's me, your friend, Old Watch Horse. Guess why I'm now? That's right, I'm in Indonesia. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a special fact I made with a computer. You must not know it, right? In fact, I'm in Beijing now. I returned to Beijing from Yunnan a few days ago. If any of you guys also in Beijing, we can meet next Friday. We can meet at uh, this masjid. It's named Nanxia Po Masjid. Maybe we can make Make a video or something. Anyway, I'm back in Beijing and I'm about to start working. Yes, I still need to work. Although I started to monetize my YouTube channel a few days ago, but I still need to work because my daily income on YouTube is uh, about four million dollars, which is just enough to buy a house in Beijing, but it's not enough to buy the Great Wall. Sorry, actually, it is uh, two US dollars in a day. Two dollars maybe can only get me half bowl of ramen in Beijing. But it's okay. This is not important. I'm already very happy, and I want to thank the friends who gave me suggestions at the comment area before. Without your suggestions, I even not be able to earn half bowl of noodles. So really appreciate your kind help. I learned that my channel can already earn income at uh, 4,000 hours and uh, 1,000 subscribers but I didn't know about until I got 27,000 hours until you guys remind me I just done it so if some of you want to try to be a youtuber mm, this is my personal experience I hope my experience can give you some help okay i'm going to start working tomorrow my work is quite busy i may not be able to spend much time shooting videos for you in the future but thank you for your support i will try to let my friend shoot for my channel some videos hopefully one day my channel will earn more than my job which means maybe i should be earning at least 50 dollars per day instead of three then I will have enough to go to some different countries to shoot videos if that doesn't work maybe next year if I save some money to work I will go for it inshallah recently I have been thinking about can I go to Indonesia India Bangladesh Malaysia Pakistan America or some European countries or others I want to see how Muslims live there. What is uh, their culture like? What is the difference between them and uh, Chinese Muslims? As well as the history of each country. These are what I am curious about. I have been very interested in different cultures since I was a child. I need to tell you a secret. Actually, when I was a child, I always thought there are only two countries where Muslims live in this world. One was the Saudi Arabia and another one, China. It wasn't until later, when I left my hometown to go to university, I realized that I wasn't minority like I was in China. Especially when I know that 23% of the world's population is Muslim. I realized that I'm part of a really big, big, big family, which makes me feel so happy. Because you know, Muslims' foods need to be halal right and uh, i like eating food right just call me a food boy uh, no food boy so i think that there are so many foods in the world that i can eat i feel very excited you know in china it's very sad when you see a lot of good food on the street but you cannot eat so my wish now is travel to various Muslim countries and eat myself into a big fat man. For this, I am willing to sacrifice my duty.
Let's get back to the topic of introduce myself. I'm a Muslim living in a small village in China. I have studied the Quran, prayed and fasted since I was a child, just like every Muslim in the world. But I also like most Chinese. I need to go to school, learn math, history, geography, chemistry or something. In China, compared to the total population, the proportion of Muslims is uh, actually very small, about 2% of the total population. So I had no contact with Muslims for a long time until I graduated from high school. My friend went to Malaysia to study at university, so he invited me to travel to Malaysia. That was my first time going abroad, and it was also my first time to travel to a Muslim country. If you live in a non-Muslim country like me, you can understand how happy I am when I see the whole street full of halal food in Kuala Lumpur. Later, after I returned to China from Malaysia, I decided to see how many Muslims there are in the world and how do they live. Are uh, their beliefs consistent with mine? So, although I was uh, admitted to a university in China, but I still gave up the Chinese education. Then I came to Saudi Arabia. I met Muslims from all over the world. Even though we are from different countries, we are just like uh, one big family to each other. They are friendly, calm, and uh, take great care of me. Of course, there are a few Muslims who are not so friendly. For example, when I lost my mobile phone on a bus in Mecca, I didn't worry at all. Because because I was very naive at that time, I thought that in a Muslim country, lost things can always be found. I believe that a qualified Muslim will return my phone to me after picking it up. But when I returned to the bus to find my phone, it was completely lost. I called myself number, but... Sorry, the number you dialed is out of service. This experience made me feel a little bit bad, but overall, I still feel very happy in Saudi Arabia. Some bad things didn't make me change my mind. I still want to meet Muslims all over the world. About four months later, I back to China, and I went to the mosque to continue studying the Quran. A year later, I received an invitation letter from Kazan University in Russia. I heard the city where they university is located called the Republic of Tatarstan. There are a lot of Tatar Muslims. So I put my school bag on my back. One last look at my dad. Open my mouth and say goodbye. I saw tears in his eyes. But I just didn't even care. The word is in my mind. Okay, so I came to Russia. I have studied and uh, lived in Russia for five years. Yeah, of course I can speak Russian. Здравствуйте, я Удвашма. Я могу говорить по-русски. Я китайский мусульманин. Does anyone who watching this video speak Russian? Anyway, Kazan is a very beautiful city. There is a mosque called the largest mosque in Europe. Yeah, the Kul Shalif Mosque. I often go to the mosque to. I met a lot of friendly Muslims here. They took me to their home, treat me to dinner. They were surprised that there are other Muslims in China besides Uyghurs, like mm -hmm. some of you guys. So I must tell you this, there are more than 10 ethnic groups in China who believe in Islam, not just Uyghurs, so they are very curious about me and discussed with me some things about Chinese Muslims. Five years later, I returned to China and uh, I came to Beijing to work as an editor. My main job is to edit and uh, publish excellent books from Muslims all over the world, such as uh, Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, and so on. It gives me great satisfaction to be able to continue to do something for the religion that I believe in. There is a book I particularly like. It is very famous in China. 
China called the Katarina. It's written by an Afghan writer. Have you guys heard about it? Or if you have any books you want to recommend to me, I hope you can leave me a comment. About seven months ago, I put my first video on YouTube. So YouTube, I learned that there are so many Muslim brothers and sisters on this app and they introduce their lives here. I feel like I'm back mm -hmm. in this family again. During the period of uploading the videos, I realized that just like I didn't know there were Muslims living in other countries, Muslims in other countries didn't know there were Muslims in China either. So I will continue to upload my video and uh, introduce you more about Chinese Muslims until my channel maybe breaks uh, 10,000 subscribers. Maybe I can take my camera then go to your country and uh, take some beautiful videos for you guys. Don't worry, I will bring your gifts. I'm a beginner for YouTuber. Actually, I don't know what kind of video will attract more views. So if you have any suggestions for me or what do you want to ask me, maybe you can leave me a comment. I want to have more communication with you guys. I will also try to make your comment in the huh? video because sometimes I reply to the comment of my channel. It takes me about two hours a day and uh, actually many comments are repeated questions. Maybe I can make a video so that I can answer this together. It will make me easier because now I only have time for weekend. <coughs> Okay, what else can I see? I don't know what else I need to see. So let's stop here. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for your support. I'm very touched, really. Although we live in different countries, but we share the same faith, which makes us treat each other like a family. I think this is the charm of Islam. Thank you very much. See you next video.